<laughs> this is gonna be so fun. And it's not focusing. Oh my god, she's gonna have to cut that big time. Hi guys, it's Hannah. So I understand you guys just followed Michaela, a journalism major through a day in the life of. So today you're gonna be following me through a day in the life of a nutrition and dietetics major. So I find that a lot of people actually don't know what dietetics even is. And I totally understand that because I didn't know what that was before I started school at MSU. To put simply, dietetics is just the study of the diet and how that affects health. Um, it's very chemistry heavy, um, organic chemistry, biochemistry, fundamentals of chemistry. So if you're good at chemistry, I definitely recommend. So the plan for today is I'm going to go to DTN 330, which is food prep. We have an exam at the beginning of class, but after that we are going to lab and we're going to be baking. The high is 38 degrees today, so I think I'm going to go to Duncan and I'm going to get a hot something okay so i just got back from duncan um i ordered a small peppermint mocha and look how tiny it is isn't that literally perfect though i love it i love it and then i also got these bagel minis which are so good because they're like stuffed with cream cheese they're really good this is my bagel mini guys you gotta get on this literally look at the inside it's so good Oh, it's about noon class starts at noon 30 so i'm thinking i'm just gonna sit in here and eat and then go in i also wanted to mention i'm a junior this year all of my classes are like strictly dtn classes the people that i'm in class with are usually they're either a major or a minor in nutrition so it's really great that i can talk to them and see like where are you at what classes do you have left to take and like make sure that you're on the right track because up until this point i've just been taking like general classes before ann campeter um it was actually called the professional building and it needed a lot of love <laughs> so when i first started here freshman year like ceilings were missing and the floor was dirt, but um, they changed the name and they updated the building and it's really beautiful. So I wanna show you guys what it looks like now. Hey guys, so today we're actually gonna be making gluten-free dropped cheddar bites. So I'm gonna get some footage of us making it. We're gonna be wearing gloves and hair nets, so it's all gonna be totally sanitary. And then I'll show all the end products and let you know what everybody made. Okay, so our drop biscuits are in the oven. Ashlyn is washing the dishes and Betsy is taking them out right now and they look super good. These are some of our finished dishes so far. Yay! What did you make? Yeah, cream puffs with nothing inside of them. Heck yeah! <laughs> Very aesthetically pleasing. Ooh, uh, ooh la la. <laughs> so we have our finished products, and I don't think I told you guys, but the theme of this lab was um, quick breads, which is why all of the food I'm about to show you is some form of bread. This is the biscuit. This is the drop biscuit that we made. We have pancakes popovers cream puffs with whipped cream and then this is a traditional muffin recipe so it's low sugar low fat and then we have cornbread betsy say hi hi it's, it's good <laughs> yeah okay so overall i think that went really well <clears throat> so the whole point of that being about breads is just to see the different fermentation processes for different kinds of breads but everything turned out pretty tasty so i definitely recommend this class 
if you're like looking for something fun to take because it's it's pretty fun life was really fun today I made cream puffs. Cream puffs are disgusting. Four <laughs> eggs and one <laughs> stick of butter. That's all they are. <laughs> Thumbs down. You gotta put the whipped cream. It was still gross with whipped cream. Like whipped no. cream on egg, girl. No. <laughs> my conclusion. Thank you. Okay, so I just got home. It's 30 degrees outside. It's seven degrees in the house. And now I feel like I'm experiencing some kind of like heat stroke or something. You know, like when you buy a new fish and you gotta acclimate it to like different water temperatures so it doesn't die. I'm like a fish, um, and I didn't acclimate, and now I feel like I'm gonna die. But it's fine. The plan for the rest of the day um, is I think I have a project due on Thursday for DTN 333, which is the lifespan nutrition. So I'm gonna call my Nan. You guys know Nan, the most precious grandmother on the face of planet Earth. Um, and get her 24 hour food recall, and then I'm gonna mash all of that up into a presentation somehow some way so um if i finish it today i will show it to you if i don't i will leave you in suspense i talked to my nan for about 20 minutes and i got her 24 hour food recall actually she eats really well much better than myself so um maybe this isn't going to be as intensive as a project as i was expecting it to be i'm gonna run this information through a diet analysis program we typically use chronometer or nutritics so i'll probably use one of those and i will keep you updated okay i just want to point out tyler and i we live very busy lives okay um I want to say we're sleep deprived, but like I sleep 14 hours a day, so I, that doesn't really ap apply to me. It does to her though, because sometimes I walk into the bathroom and I see this. <laughs> All right, so it's about 6.30. Um, I'm about halfway through with this PowerPoint. I don't think I'm gonna finish it tonight just because I'm cold and I'm hungry and I don't wanna. But um, it's turning out pretty cute. This is the title slide. Hopefully you can see that. I think I'm gonna go out and get something. I have not been grocery shopping in 10 to 20 years. My room doesn't have central air, so it's like 10 degrees colder in here than the rest of the house and my hands feel like a dead fish, like, I'm cold. I'm like deathly cold. Okay, so I just got back from Domino's, which is why my nose is pink because I'm very cold still. But while I am sitting in the parking lot waiting for them to bring out my pizza, Ryan asks, do you want Domino's? And I'm like, how did you know that that's where I am? And so apparently I went and got Domino's and then Ryan and Michaela ordered Domino's too. And so now we're all just having Domino's. Okay, friends. So I think this is the end of the video. I'm really glad that I had a chance to spend the day with you guys. And so um, we're all just hanging out in the living room with our pizzas that we accidentally ordered separately. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.